I'm Ryan. I'm Francis. We are from Class 1H. Well, today we'll be sharing with you about the composition of the Earth as well as the process of rock formation. Let's talk about the composition of the Earth first. Alright, firstly, what is rock? Well, rock is made out of minerals and is in solid form. Rock in the Earth can be classified into three types, namely igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. Well, each rock has its own characteristics that can help us to identify where the rock was formed. Let's talk about the igneous rock. Alright, igneous rock is formed from cooling process and freezing of magma or lava that flows out of the mantle. Well, in order for us to demonstrate this, we will speed up the process of the lava cooling using water. Now when lava and water meet, we get the igneous rock. Igneous rock. Now what are the characteristics of the igneous rock? Alright, it is very hard, shiny, crystalline, a layer, and do not contain fossils. Well, next let's talk about sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. Okay, sedimentary rocks are formed by compression of deposited materials carried by the rivers, glaciers, and wind. Now, what are the characteristics of this sedimentary rock? Alright, Sedimentary rocks are not crystallized, layer, and often contain fossils. They consist of many layers which are sometimes hollow and contain fossils. And let's talk about the metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rocks are formed when igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks are exposed to very high pressure and temperature. In order for us to demonstrate this process, we have decided to use a sedimentary rock and we expose it to high temperature until it becomes a... Metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock. Now, what are the characteristics of a metamorphic rock? Alright, they are harder, smoother, and color is brighter. Usually, harder than the original rocks that form them. Next, let's talk about the process of rock formation. The formation process of igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks that occur in the geosphere can be explained through the continuous rock cycle. Well, the rock cycle means the changes of rocks from one type to another. The process of cooling and solidification of hot magma from igneous rock. Igneous rocks. Now, the, press, the process of weathering and erosion of igneous rocks from sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. The transformation process due to very high temperature and pressure on igneous rock and sedimentary rocks form metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks. Process of liquefaction or melting due to the very high temperature on metamorphic rocks form magma again. And this is magma. Conclusion, igneous rocks become sedimentary rocks when they weather and erode at high pressure. The transformation due to high pressure and temperature change igneous rock into metamorphic rocks. Sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks interchange due to the transformation due to high pressure and temperature. The melting due to high temperature change metamorphic rocks into magma or lava. And the cooling and solidification of magma and lava will form igneous rocks. Well, this concludes our sharing about the composition of the earth and the process of rock formation. Thank you for watching. Thank you.